Hello viewers, today I am here with a new topic that is data mining and business intelligence. So uh, let us see what is the uh, basic concept of data mining or from where we can extract this kind of data. So for that you need to understand one concept that is called as the knowledge discovery from data. So it is a process which is short formed as KDD. So here you can see it's a diagram for this. So I have made this diagram with lot of difficulty. So you need to concentrate here. So basically in the process of KDD you have seven different steps like I've listed here. So let's go into the detail with certain example of my own. I'll give you. So first let us understand what this diagram is. So basically this is the KDD process. So in this uh, you have at the base level you have different databases databases for uh, in table format you have in SQL, PL, SQL or other oracle forms then you have flat files you have so all these goes to the data warehouse where data from different kinds of sources are uh, stored in this so uh, then it goes up to the higher layer so at the very first layer you have the cleaning and the integration process which goes hand in hand so in this I have listed in uh, different steps so uh, at the first step, at the base step, you have the cleaning and the integration uh, activity. Then uh, after the data is moved up, then data to from data warehouse, it goes to the higher step. Like there you have selection and transformation. Only data which is relevant to your application or only data relevant to your analysis task are retired from that. So that's where selection and transformation comes into picture. Then uh, with that data which you have, you will extract some kind of pattern or interestingness measure from that. So that's where data mining comes into picture. So that you do after this, after selection and transformation, then you go high the ladder. Then you have evaluation and presentation techniques where you represent in different, different patterns of the extracted data. And finally, you say that I have got knowledge. So that knowledge is nothing but the uh, from the base level till the upper level what all things you have done in that right from analysis integration selection transformation cleaning and all activities so then it's uh, said that you have knowledge of that particular topic now uh, these are the different steps which are involved in kdd activity or the kdd process for data mining now data mining it's uh, a term which is given so data mining is also called as data dredging so like you you have to extract that kind of data from this uh, huge knowledge base or store base or fact base or something like that so first in the first uh, step you have data cleaning so uh, what it does is it removes noise and inconsistent data that you can read but let me give you an example so uh, like in your college project or in our college presentation activity you have been given uh, to present one kind of topic like for example let's say blockchains so you go to the uh, internet you go on google you search for blockchains and like uh, at the it it, uh, it may not be like uh, always be possible like at the very first instant you will get the correct results that you want to be but then you will refine your searches by removing all those grammars and you will concentrate only on the main phrase which you want so that you get the exact searches so at times when google does not uh, gets your keyword it will uh, have a strike through so that's basically your keywords are not being getting uh, searched so that is the place where you do data cleaning you will remove those noise and inconsistent data from your query so that can be related to your query you search to your uh, like for uh, you to get that particular knowledge so that query which you input is also kind of data which you are giving to the system or to the algorithm of google so that's where data cleaning comes into picture it removes the noise and inconsistent data so whenever you search any kind of thing you should uh, do minimalistic uh, involvement of grammars and all uh, then you have to concentrate only on the keywords which you are searching for like ethereum or blockchain bitcoins then you will get uh, more knowledge from that or more relevant results you will get to uh, extract from those then after that uh, while you go to uh, while you enter those particular keywords or the query on the google search engine you will get a list of different kinds of websites now uh, now let's uh, open one website and it will have some kind of web pages a lot of information has been given like a literature writing and all 
then on the other website you get to see some ppt then on the other uh, uh, this thing or uh, you will get to some videos or excel sheet data or pdf for word or something like that so uh, you have data integration now you have to collect or download all these data and put into one repository or create one folder so that's where data integration is you will visit all these sites and you will uh, you uh, you will probably visit five to uh, seven different sites for your particular uh, thing and then you will uh, integrate all those into a particular folder you have different kinds of uh, multi dimensional databases or data sources uh, then finally what you do is you select those particular data which are relevant to your analysis task or what you want to present yourself in that uh, presentation session so uh, now in this what you do uh, all the data which are relevant to your analysis task are retrieved from the database so this is in context to the data mining but when i giving the real life example uh, you want only those particular uh, keywords or those particular thing which you are concentrated or which thing you want like for example uh, in blockchain there are 100 different kinds of parameters or entities but then uh, your instructor or presenter might have given you like you want to uh, construct a particular presentation based on these these parameters parameter a parameter b parameter c so you will be uh, more on working to on those parameters rather than on those 100 different kinds of parameters which blockchain has uh, then you have data transformation uh, now after all this you will uh, do the transformation or consolidation of data into appropriate forms for mining by performing the summary or aggregation operation so what you do is uh, you basically have all these information from different different kinds of data sources what you do you open a word file you uh, paste or you just type or you construct a new document now uh, this document might have different kinds of or all these uh, different kinds of data sources might have different grammars and all so what you do you eliminate or you try to keep minimum grammars in that and you try to represent in bullet formats or in a uh, like in a uh, point wise formats like point 0.1 point 0.2 point 0.3 so that becomes more over like a uh, easier kind of interpretation to the user as well so that's where you do the data transformation you have this kind of paragraph then you are converting it into smaller smaller number of bullets or uh, small points like one two three four and all like that so that's our data transformation is then uh, comes data mining so this is the part we are interested in in kind of uh, data knowledge discovery from data so uh, what happens here is all different kinds of intelligent methods are applied in order to extract the data patterns now uh, let's talk about blockchain so in blockchain there is one concept of creating a blocks so that's uh, like in the entire context of blockchain uh, the part where you want to construct a block in order to generate a bitcoin so uh, that is a kind of uh, interestingness measure or interesting thing in blockchain so that you will identify in this that is data mining by using different intelligent methods that you have you have to work your brain on that and then pattern evaluation then some kind of patterns will be there then identify interestingness pattern based on some interestingness measure this means that like from the past data from the past 10 years or 15 years what kind of different activities or what kind of different kinds of changes have been done so that you basically represent in a pie chart format or on a bar graph or some other kind of representation techniques uh, then you have after you have extracted your pattern what you do is knowledge presentation then finally on the day of presentation what you do you open one projector and you put all those word files or in a ppt and then you start to explain so all this kind of visualization techniques are used to represent the mind knowledge to the user so that at the end while you do the presentation the teacher will come to know that you have got knowledge on that particular topic like here uh, you have got on bitcoin uh, or blockchains so uh, well that's all about the knowledge discovery from the data that is kdd process in data mining so uh, hope you enjoyed this video if you found uh, you got educated by watching this video please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you for watching this video